Hey friends, today we are doing some yard sailing right next to Walt Disney World. We're going to be visiting the different neighborhoods and communities that are having garage sales, looking for some really good bargains and Disney memorabilia items and who else knows what we can find. And I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along with us. And then later on, we're going to go to Hollywood Studios. We're going to shoot some very funny videos with some friends and just have a beautiful garage sailing kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. We are starting off our day right here next to West Clock, which is Disney University or where the cast members park for Magic Kingdom because Magic Kingdom is right there. It's You can actually see the top of Cinderella Castle. And all along this road, there's tons of housings and communities and apartments that are doing some really awesome garage sales and yard sales. So I figured uh, we'd go around and explore a little bit. For the most part, there is one area that's having a big community garage sale, but we're going to be driving around and just seeing if we see a sign on the road and following that to like another yard sale or garage sale or anything that's in the neighborhood wise. So it's going to be a little probably chaotic when it comes to the filming because at the same time, I don't want to film anyone's like houses and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to keep it just on the table, keeping it on the table. I'm just going to try to keep it on the table. <laughs> Look, garage sale right here, right next to the orange groves. <laughs> that's good. That's a good sign. Is good that? direction. Yeah, look at garage sale this way. Oh, this is a garage sale because it goes into the garage. Oh yeah. They got the goods. This is the one right here. Look at this impressive setup. Now it's not technically a yard sale because it goes into a garage. So it's a garage sale, just a little bit on the yard. But there's some good, uh, some, some fancy finds in there maybe. Fancy finds, I hope. Look at this table right here. They actually have the Pirates and Princess Party at Magic Kingdom. Look at that, 25 cents, a night of enchanted adventure. And then it looks like 10 copies of John Carter. <laughs> but these are really cool. These are only 25 cents. Look at that. Just down from that table, they actually have the music of Disney. A legacy in song. $10 for this. This is actually, I might That's want cool. this. Oh my God, is there a CD oh. in there too? Oh, oh, oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. You're coming home with me. Don't tell Sean. I'm buying that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying this. Take a look at this very old Scrabble game right here. This is an older edition. I wonder what year this is from. It's gonna be hard to say whether or not all the pieces are there. I would love to see a date on this. I would say 1980s. Honestly, just by the way the font looks on there. That is so interesting. Look at that, 1987. I knew it, I knew it. Still a cool deal for $2. It looks like it's all together there. Look at that. Now this is just a single sign uh, yard sale we uh, found, but there is a whole entire loop full of yard sales that we're gonna make our way towards next. But it's still cool to just follow little leads. Look at this, seriously, for $10, the music of Disney, a legacy in song, and it comes with a nice little book. Look at that, Mary Poppins, and oh, Dalmatians, and then it's a three CD set. That is awesome. Honestly, for 10 bucks, can't go wrong. Does anybody else say yard sailing? Like instead of going to one single yard sale, you're going to a bunch of them. So you would say to like your friends, hey, do you wanna go yard sailing today? You know what I mean? Did we just create that word? Did we make it up? Or is that an actual word, I wonder? I mean, I, I think it's funny when I say it in my head. Instead of, hey, do you wanna go to a yard sale? We say, hey, you wanna go yard sailing? As if we're just sailing by the yards, kind of just breezing and looking to see if there's anything that we want. There it is, garden like garage way, sale yeah. this way. This way. This way. Uh, Verizon way. land. Something coming up right here. Oh, okay. Sewing, maybe books. Books, sewing. Is that a drive by? Drive by, drive by. Drive by, drive by. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, there we go. I know. We're just keeping our eyes peeled. Anything. Oh, oh. Nope, nope. Oh, look, they got trees in the middle of the road. 
Why is there a tree just? <laughs> but that's so pretty. That's so nice. I want to live in a community where there's this isn't a roundabout. Oh, there's a lot of people down that way. Oh, there's another one right there. There's another one right there. Look, there's one right there too. Let's just park. We have universal walking grounds. Yep, yep, right here. Park, let's go. This is the good stuff. We're now in an area where we can just walk around to several different yard sales. Like we don't have to drive around and I like that. There's some really awesome old advertisement books from Montgomery Ward here, 1963. And look, they've got some Disney clothing. Walt Disney inspired thumper, sister sets. Look at that. These are actually really cool. Ooh, what a gentleman. Retro Disney VHS is there. Very cool. Tarzan, you would pick up Tarzan. Why not? Yeah, Pocahontas, Peter Pan, Toy Story 2, and The Parent Tramp. Which one do you pick up first? Sean goes for the Tarzan. Or, 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 oh, you picked up the original Toy Story. Yes. Yeah, that is really cool. And then some blockbuster puzzles. Ooh. American Idol. Yep. We are literally like 500 feet away from Magic Kingdom. Like, the, especially, like, I would say maybe a thousand feet to the castle. Like, we can walk from the castle to here. So, it's kind of really cool. You can hear the train, and you can also probably hear any fireworks or stage shows that they're putting on. You can literally hear it just from being in this neighborhood. Looks like they got a fancy fedora here. Two bucks for this little one. What do you guys think? How much is the bike? Two hundred dollars. It sells for four. Look at this. I wonder if Gracie would sit in the back of this and I would go driving around. Put my dog in there. It'd be so nice. Oh. She'd probably just hang out. And... You can take it for a test drive if you want. Oh. Get in there. Oh, I don't Here. know. You get on there. No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> There wasn't much at that stop, but we're gonna keep moving along. It's always good because you never know. You don't want to miss something good. Very tiny. Yeah. I think it's a drive by. Oh, oh, yeah, drive by. Oh. We're in a, what, is, what do you call this? A cul de sac? Cul de sac. Cul de sac. Oh, but I like this cul de sac. Oh, it's always funny when you're doing like the drive-by, we call it a drive-by, where you're not too sure if you want to get out, but you want to see if you can see anything. So you drive past the yard sale very slow and you lock eyes on with the person that's actually hosting the yard sale. And it's kind of awkward because you're like, your stuff's not good enough to stop, but like I want to, but I want to see a big one. It gets really awkward, but we've been doing that a lot actually. And I'm like, oh, oh don't look, don't look. <laughs> We're taking a quick break from our garage sailing and we're going to stuff a bagel. Traditional and New York style boiled bagels. This is the spot. And there's Magic Kingdom right there. You can actually see Cinderella Castle. How cool is that? This place has been featured on the front of the magazine for the coupon cart. Looks like that. Been featured quite a bit. And they make the bagels right in house, right here. Look at that. That's so nifty. Oh! Oh, wow! This is really cool. Look at them. It's like an assembly line. Look at this place. They actually have the Disney Resort Channel on. Look at that. And some good bagels. Some cannolis, too. I like looking at all the pictures they got on the walls here. You got Mickey over there. Look at Walt right here with Mickey. Animal Kingdom. That's actually really cool. Oh, there's some Mets. You know, those amazing 86 Mets. I decided on getting a nice little plain bagel toasted with jelly. Looks really good. Just like I would make at home. I like this. Kristen, what did you end up getting? I switched it up from my usual pork roll egg and cheese and I got a turkey sandwich on an everything bagel. Ah. Okay, in the comments, pork roll or Taylor ham? I already know as soon as I said pork roll, there's going to be a bunch of comments. Yeah. Like, Taylor ham. Taylor ham. Not. Taylor ham. And we also got some cannolis. Hey, cannoli. Stuck Cut that cannoli. Dissecting the cannoli. There he goes. Oh, very good. You did a good job. Oh, I grab it. Oh, that, that's gonna be my piece right here? Oh, thank you. Oh. 
the bagel was amazing. I couldn't show you because it's the backlight, but now I'm trying the cannoli, and I like a soft cannoli. I don't like the crunch, so here we go. That's a good cannoli. All right, stuff a bagel was great. A good mid-afternoon snack, and now uh, back to some more garage sailing. Oh, they have the gates open today. A gated community. Oh, it's a gated community open today because it's a community garage sale. We in there. Yeah, oh, look at this. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, $50 cornhole. Look at that. We we're looking for a nice cornhole set. Kristen is doing some negotiating with those uh, cornhole stands because she really wants them for her Memorial Day, but they're asking $50. She's having a Memorial Day uh, barbecue or like a cookout, and they're asking $50, but I think she can definitely get them for 20 So she's trying. My luggage. You got them. How got, much? Isn't it crazy? I got him down to $30. I, he's like, uh, yeah. I only have 30 I actually have like 60 But he doesn't need to know that. But he doesn't need. We got a good deal on the cornhole. Cornhole. Four people make it in a row, there you become the great cornholio. It is super hot out. In fact, I'm working up a sweat just walking around to the different uh, garage sales that are close to each other. But I kind of like it. It kind of leads into the whole like yard sale feeling. Just walking around on a hot day, you know? There's a tent. It looks like they might be selling that tent. He is, he is, he is. Looks like they have a better cornhole set here. Oh no. Look at these ones. That is too cool. No way. How much? $20. Oh. Now just wait a second here. Look at this. A bunch of large dog beds and they're Disney ones. $25. Look at this. Oh. Gracie would like this one. It's like the pillow one. Oh, I think I'm going to get it. Yeah, I'm going to get that one. In fact, I'm thinking about trying to do a package deal. Maybe two for 40. You know, something like that. Or three for 50. Three for 60. <laughs> Brand new dog beds. Yep, this one actually has uh, little play toys in it too. This is amazing. Wow. I'm, I'm so happy. This is a great find. Oh yeah, we got one right up here on the right. They're selling a grill. Oh, they have a grill. Look at that. Is this a garage set? Oh, they're just cleaning out the garage. <laughs> <laughs> They're just cleaning out their garage. They're selling a grill. They're selling a grill. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> it looks like all of our garage sailing is done for today. We did get a lot of good buys though. I'm happy with it. And now I think we're just going to continue on our day. And I'm going to bring you guys along with us. We're probably going to go hang out at Hollywood Studios. Maybe Epcot. And uh, just have a... Nice little fun, relaxing day. Gracie, I got you a gift. A bunch of new dog beds. Look at all these. Come on. Which one do you want? You want this one? Look at this. Brand new. With the tags on them and everything. Wow. Got a new dog bed, Gracie. In with the new. Out with the old. Come on, this is your new bed. I got to take that one. I'm going to take it. Thank you. And then we'll move this here. Hold on. There you go. Check it out. Oh, I caught you. What do you think? Oh, she's hesitant. I don't know. I think she wants her old dog bed back. Well, we dropped off Gracie's beds, and I really do think she loves them, and I still think that's such a great deal. I mean, between my uh, beds and also Kristen's cornhole set, but, you know, she should have got that second one. That one was way better. And now we're going to go to Hollywood Studios. Uh, I think Edna Mode is supposed to be there, and uh, I think there's a couple Edna Mode enthusiasts. Edna Mode enthusiasts. I do not look like Edna Mode. I don't know what I look like. All right. <laughs> You're picking me up? Come on in. We're oh. going shopping. 
<laughs> and we have made it to Hollywood Studios. What a fun day we're having so far. Did a little yard sailing and now a little Hollywood studio doing. All of my friends are dressing up like Edna Mode to go meet Edna Mode and they're making fun little videos for all their different social media accounts. Like you have Ryan and Isabel for the love of theme parks and then you've got Kristen and Sean with the Kingdom crew and uh, I'm gonna, I can't wait to see the final product because it's gonna be hysterical. But today, I'm just the cameraman. I'm just holding the camera. What are you uh, guys starting to get in the mode? Getting, Getting into the mode of things? You haven't even Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Is this one of the Beatles? <laughs> Sean Lennon. Sean Lennon. <laughs> Sean Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Harry Potter meets in the mode. I wonder what's for lunch. It's Sloppy Joe's. <laughs> Sloppy Joe's. How do I look, guys? This is my look for me to get that. Oh. <laughs> my chemical romance. <laughs> Wait, what are you saying? Wait. <laughs> no capes. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know what. That's a great one. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make sure you gotta like pull the back like down. It helps if you don't have I think, to. Yeah. Normally when I come to the parks, I usually have uh, more of like a structured video, but this is kind of just like us hanging out after having a day of yard sailing and going to Hollywood Studios dressed up as Edna Mode to meet Edna Mode kind of days, you know? And uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. I, I hope you guys like it. It's like a little bit different. It's honestly like if My Chemical Romance, The Beatles, and Harry Potter put a, put a band together, you guys would be it. <laughs> this is just so hysterical. <laughs> and you guys are going to stay like this this whole entire time. <laughs> oh my lord. I didn't get the memo. What are your biggest fans? He didn't get your memo. He doesn't know the style. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> We're getting escorted in here. <laughs> the <laughs> VIP treat. <laughs> Everybody follow. Checking out all these now. Of course, that's been called a hobo suit. Oh! A hobo she suit? Herself. She called it a hobo suit. Herself. I just sewed this one. Because she's improved so much. Oh, this suit. Wow. You remember this? She fixed it so much. She fixed Yes, you did a great job. <laughs> Seamless. <laughs> Did you put that wig on Jack Jack? No, he replicated himself. Oh, he put the wig on What did you think we did? I didn't wake up like this. Oh, oh yes. Practice, like Where's her wig? It's invisible. That was fancy. The VIP tour. And now her private gallery. Oh, wow. That's a great logo. Almost as tall, I almost put my head up there. That was really awesome. Edna Mode herself gave us the tour. She was a VIP 
tour of Mode HQ. That was impressive. We saw all of the suits. Some of them were not exact from the movies. I think they might have been replicas because there wasn't a stitch in like yeah. Incredibles. But maybe she just fixed it so you can't. It's seamless. Completely. You would know though. I literally just watched <laughs> Incredibles <laughs> 1 and 2 this past weekend, so that's why. Now, since they were so honored to be able to meet Edna Mode, uh, they figured they'd come outside and meet the Incredibles. Well, Mr. Incredible, Mrs. Incredible, and Sully from Monsters, Inc. You're a wizard, Edna. <laughs> Alright, our next superhero friends, come on over. It's us. <laughs> we were told to come. And, and they told us we had to come check out the suits. Uh, we were told to inspect the suits. <laughs> she did a wonderful thank you. Thank you very much. We saw, your old, we saw your old uh, costume over here. Super suits. <laughs> and Emma's pants. It was great. This has been such an amazing experience. It's been hysterical. I, I've non-stop laughed since I've gotten in here. And all the cast members love it too. Like they're really so cool about it. Edna Mode is excited. Even the Incredibles were excited. Well, it looks like they're all Edna Mode out. And uh, now we're gonna make our way maybe down to the Tower of Terror. Someone said it was a 13 minute wait. 13 minute wait. I was just here the other day riding Tower of Terror, but you can't pass up a 13 minute wait. It literally says it. 13 minutes, which, you know, if you guys don't know, that actually means uh, a walk on. Kind of like the 13th hour. I love the fact they added the misters back to the queue here. It adds like a kind of like mystery, you know? I like it. Kind of adds a little creep factor. I wouldn't mind staying here. Can you imagine coming down and enjoying your breakfast? Couch. Yeah! If this was an actual hotel like this design with the spider webs and everything like that, dusty, I would like, do it. If your actual bed's dusty, would you say that? Well, no, it would have to be like fake dusting. Like no. those aren't real spider there's, webs. There's, there's a good layer of dust in the You know, I want fake spider webs, not real spider webs. No, they're gonna be as, as authentic. Yeah. Oh my lord. We're going into the lobby now. This is incredible. This is too cool. It seems like a little dusty. They let us in the lobby. Wow. Oh wow, hi. Huh. This is honestly so awesome. Huh. Right? <laughs> oh my cool. Look at this little dining room set over here. A bottle. This is incredible. Wow. I can't even believe this. This is such a cool dream come true right here. Wow. Guest registration. Oh, guest, yeah, cashier and information. Then you got a little book and a little bell. Oh my lord, it actually rings. That's incredible. This is too cool. Sorry, I'm geeking out a little bit. I ding the bell. I want to ding the bell. Yeah. This is so cool. Well, this was a cool treat, huh? Time to head back now. Woo! We're gonna buckle from left to right and left to right only. All of that is reduced at your feet, and it's why I decided you don't want to lose. To our valued guests, for your safety, once on board, Harry Potter decided to join us on this Tower of Terror. <laughs> I think we're stuck. What was that rubber ducky business there? Uh, I think it was to calm my nerves. You could tell I was very nervous. Oh, I just heard it again. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's how nice it is here. I didn't say anything. Well, that was incredible. Seriously, something I've always wanted to do and one of the best rides I've ever had on the Tower of Terror. Wow, I can't believe that just happened. We got a private tour of the lobby. I've always wanted to go back there. And honestly, I feel like that's the best way to end the day. Like it's been such an epic day so far and this vlog has had so many awesome moments. I don't even know how I, how I title this. We've done so much and accomplished so much. I hope that everybody gets to enjoy it. And now we're gonna start making our way out of the park. Call it a day, it's been a long day, but one of my best days. Definitely one of the best days ever. Instead of leaving the park, it looks like it's gonna rain. So we decided to come over to the Backlot Express just to kind of sit down and chill. A warehouse of good eating. This is old MGM Studios, that's what it reminds me of. The dawn of Michael Eisner. Oh, this is a good spot. Look at this. I miss it. Yep. Have, like, back here. Yeah, you remember they had Cabby from uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit back here? It used to be inside, like they had the skeleton of it. Even the squirrels like to hang out out here. Can you imagine that squirrel just hopping up and just sitting on your shoulder? Squirrel business. This is really magical. It's something you'd see in a Disney movie. Do you think they'll interact with someone? It's like Bambi. Yeah. yeah. There's no way, you know? Maybe we'll come back and help you. Do you keep on looking back there because you don't know where the squirrel went? I'm afraid of my jump on my foot. <laughs> yeah. And with that, we are done here today. What an amazing day we had though. I loved it. I loved yard sailing. I loved everything that we got to do at Hollywood Studios. It was a little hot out today, but you know, honestly, it was so fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. So we'll see you next time. Bye.